Okay, this video is going to quickly show you how to do Sandcastle. This will build your technical documentation for your projects. Okay, so here's a project running um, that I'm going to do this project for. It's just from my tracking sprites one, so I'm going to do that. What you must make sure for you do this is that you've got XML comments above classes, above your variables like these here, mothership, and also above your subroutines. Okay, this is what the project Sandcastle is going to pick up. Okay, now we also need to do um, one other thing to our projects. So if we go to Solution Explorer and right click on Code and go to Properties, it might chug for a little while, but it will bring up this screen. Um, it defaults to the application tab down the side so these ones down the side we want the build one what we need to do is scroll down right down to the bottom and tick this box XML documentation file leave it with its default okay this will take all our summary comments and put them in a file that's what Sandcastle is going to read to build all our website technical documentation for us so make sure you've done that save your project and then make sure you build your project so do f6 to build your project okay and that will create the xml file for us okay so that's the bit we need to do in our project so i'll just leave that where it is now i need to load sandcastle so you should find this under programs uh, sandcastle help file builder you want the gui so load that up it loads up with the last project you loaded so this is going to load up a stupid project of mine so I'm going to get rid of that so you don't have to worry about that bit so if we go file new project it will immediately ask us to save it so you need to save this in case you need to make changes later on so I'm just going to um, dump it in my folder you put this in a sensible folder so I'm going to dump it here so sandcastle video I'm going to call this project okay and it will bring up the basic settings which are all these okay right the first thing we need to do <coughs> is to add our project so if we go to on the right hand side where it says document sources okay and if project explorer isn't open go to window and select project explorer okay should be now we're going to right click on that and say add document source now what we've got to now do is navigate to our project folder now mine is in a horrendous place it's under video development and I think oh dear tracking tracker video I think mine is so I'm in where my project is I'm going to go into the template folder twice then I'm looking for the bin folder so I'll go bin x86 debug and I should find in there template.exe and template.xml or whatever your project's called so select the executable and say open and if it's worked it should in the document sources say template.exe and it will automatically have picked the xml file up if it hasn't done that check back in your project that you set this XML documentation file and you built your project. Okay. Right, back to Sandcastle. We need to change a few settings. Now, the first one is this right at the top in the project properties, help file format. We want just website. Okay, so change that to website. So I'm going to go through and change a few things. Scrolling down slightly, I've got copyright text. So you put what you want in there, put something sensible, you put created by Eric, I'm going to put a feedback email address, I'm just going to drag it out so you can see that better, feedback email address, I'm going to make it a bit wider as well, uh, I'm going to put hooray banana at gmail.com, okay, <clears throat> I can put in footer text, header text, you can go crazy with this, but I'm going to change. These are the ones that I'm recommending you change. Right, help tile. So I'm going to call this technical, if I can spell technical documentation for tracker. 
project. Okay, you can put what you want for that. Okay. Right, scrolling down, keep going down, keep going down, you'll come to what is the most important, and this is going to be output path. You must not select your project folder or any folder that's got anything in it because this program will delete everything. So do not put it anywhere in your home drive or on a USB stick. You will lose everything. We had this happen before. I don't want it to happen again. So I'm going to recommend what you do is you go onto the D drive that's on the computer, create yourself a folder. Okay. Oh, not in the recycling bin, idiot. Um, I think I created one. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Tech docs. Okay, create one with your name on it so you know it's yours because there'll be several people on your computer. Okay, so I'm going to store it there. So make sure and confirm to yourself that it's technical documents on the D drive. You mustn't put it anywhere else. Right, the only other things we've got to do is decide what gets documented. Okay, things that you've made changes to. Um, on this section, right down at the bottom under visibility, go bold to show that you've made a change. So if you've made a mistake, you can always see the ones which you've changed. Right, we're going to select various ones of these. So we're going to have document inherited framework members, and we're going to set that to false. So that's this one. It's currently true. So document inherited framework members, just double click it and it'll go false. We need inherited document inherited members to false. We need to set private fields, so document private fields to true, because some of your variables are that. And it should have automatically made document privates true. And then another one, sealed protected, we need to make false. So you should have five changes in that section, a false, a false, a true, a true, and a false. So check those carefully. Okay, that sets up the project so what we're going to do is just make sure we save it so let's just save that project and then we build it okay this takes a little while I'll just should start it off so I'll go up to this icon here or I'll go documentation build project and that'll start it chugging okay so what I'm gonna do to save you down a boredom I'm gonna pause the video until it's finished so I'm gonna pause recording and I'll come back when it's done Okay, it's after chugging for what seems like an hour, it's finished. It should run quicker on the computers at work. At college, I call it work. For me, it's work. For you, it's college. Um, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> because I get paid and you don't. Um, right, so it'll chug, 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 chug for ages. And it should have um, produced it. Hopefully, it said build completed successfully at the bottom, the last line. Now, if you want to view the help file, you just click on this little um, icon. Okay, I think that does the same thing. No, oh, no, it doesn't. Um, so just click on this, and hopefully, uh, let me just kill something first. Um, let's try it. Click on that. I've never done it this way. Oh, it's chugging away. It's doing something ineffective. <sighs> chug 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 in a way. Okay. And there you go. What you might find, because the stuff at college is all messed up, this might start asking for you to allow ActiveX. So if it does, make sure you allow that. Otherwise, this won't display properly. Now, what you should find is that you'll get a list um, and ignore this main window. Just look at this one. You should have game one, graphics, and you might have my sprites and you might have um, one other thing. I, you might, I can't remember what it is now, but some of you might have it. So if we just click on the plus next to game one and select members, you'll get a list of all the subroutines, the pink, pink ones, pink purples, and all the variables. Okay, and you should get your XML comments. If you've got blanks, that means you haven't got anything in summary block for bullet. So let me just um, go back to my project just to check that. 
So if I go on class view, game, and I scroll down to, what was it, bullet, double click bullet, and didn't put an XML comment. So Sandcastle will pick that up. Okay, what we need to print is the member page from game one, so this, and you might find that it prints really stupid, so you might want to copy and paste all of this to Word and do it that way. We need to do the same for the graphics class. Now I've only got sample, <laughs> all right, so I haven't got much in there. And if you use the my sprites, do that one as well. So I have like Earth Fighter and Mothership, but you might not have that, so you can just ignore printing out that one. Okay. Um, then what you should do, you should pick a couple of interesting um, subroutines. So, um, where am I going? Click on them. A couple of interesting ones. So, one that's got proper stuff in it. So, moving direction facing. I haven't got a summary tag for that, so I need to put one in. Now what you might see the first time you look at this is it's got this syntax bit where it says C sharp, Visual Basic and Visual C++. What we want is just C sharp. So we can move up to this bit of the top where it says code and just untick Visual Basic and C++. So we just get the C sharp thing. Now if I'd have filled everything in, so I haven't got my parameter filled in properly and it's telling me that and I haven't got my summary block in for this, I would see a nice description of what I put in the parameter summary okay so I need to do like four or five of those along with the full lists that are these okay if you've made any mistakes and you haven't got any so I want to put the bullet one in what you've got to do go back to your code put in the XML comment who makes a bullet uh, for the given turret and set up my parameter so turret to shoot and what I've got to do is build this again and then I've got to go to Sandcastle and I've got to rebuild it so build the project again but you must do it in that order okay and then you can look at the help viewer again and that is really it not much more to it it just takes a long bit of chugging okay